So here are three fat loss tips that I have used myself to lose weight and still use to this day to stay lean. Number one, intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern in which you alternate between periods of eating and fasting. Intermittent fasting has been part of my lifestyle for over two years now. Now the best part about it is that it is sustainable unlike some of the other diets out there such as keto. I've been talking about this for 40 years, right? So how does intermittent fasting actually help you lose weight? Well the idea is with a limited time window there's only so much food you can stuff into your mouth and you're eating fewer calories overall. But some of us are absolutely amazing and overachievers in that field and can just end up binging and eating massive amounts of food during your eating periods, which means you may not lose any weight at all. So just keep that in mind. The most common method of intermittent fasting is the 16-8, where you fast for 16 hours a day and eat within an eight hour window. The easiest way to do this that I found is to just skip breakfast. But if you're more comfortable skipping dinner, then you could just do that as well, depending on your lifestyle. Now, if you've never fasted before, I would not recommend starting off with this by fasting every day for 16 hours. Our bodies have been conditioned to eat certain meals at certain times during the day, and it is not easy to change that overnight. I would recommend easing into it and maybe fasting alternate days or even three days a week to get your body used to it. Just start off with a simple 12 hour fast in a week and increase that as the weeks go by. It will get easier. Now during the fasting period, make sure to drink lots of water and something that I follow myself is to also drink black coffee. Black coffee has been shown to keep you feel fuller for longer while also giving a slight boost to your metabolism which is already going to be high because of fasting. So it's important to eat the right foods such as foods that are high in fiber, green vegetables and protein. These foods will make you feel fuller for longer and make sure that you don't overeat and help you lose weight. Number two, doing cardio after weight training. The reason behind this is pretty simple. Lifting is hard and your strength and energy levels are going to be depleted if you do a full out cardio session first. Lifting weights not only helps to increase your metabolism much higher than traditional cardio, it affects your resting metabolism, giving it a continual boost as well. This means that directly after the weight training would be an ideal time to start cardio because now your body will have no choice but to burn fat at a faster rate. Now in terms of cardio, you don't need to spend half an hour or 45 minutes on the treadmill. I would recommend high intensity interval training. So some examples that I follow myself are 30 seconds of sprinting on the treadmill followed by 30 seconds of jogging and doing this for 10 to 12 sets. Or even 30 seconds of jump rope followed by five burpees and then doing that for 10 to 12 reps. This will ensure that your heart rate stays high and your body keeps burning fat even after your workout. Now, the last and final tip that I have is probably going to seem like a no-brainer to most of you, but it's probably the most important one that I found. We've all seen videos on fat loss workouts that make us want to change our body make us feel motivated to just get up and change our lives. Motivation is temporary. Discipline is permanent and it is that which is going to get you those consistent results. You can follow any diet, any workout, but unless you have a reason you're doing it and you stick to it, you're just gonna come back to square one. If you enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel. And see you next time.